קובי ישראל היי שלום שלום Welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you very much. And welcome to the Tel Aviv Jazz Festival. I'm honored and, and privileged to be here. And uh, it's mutual, I must say. Kobe, you are an Israeli musician, multi-talented. Multi-talentless, I rather refer to myself, but okay. Multi-instrumentalist. Multi-instrumentalist. And uh, you've been living now in London for For, quite, 20, for 22 and a half years. Creating there? Trying to create. Music is your world? Um, yeah, music is my world. I was trying to say something clever, yes, but music is my world. And uh, if I may say so, it definitely shows okay. when one watches your clips. Thank you. Uh, especially the last one with the iPhone. With the iPhone. It's not the last one, but, yeah, but it's one of the last. Quite impressive. Thank you. Can you tell us, Kobe, yeah. a bit about your music? Yeah, my music is um, it's, it's kind of it's a lay of multi-genres. Um, uh, I love many things. I keep an open mind. And um, as a human being, I'm easily bored. And my biggest fear is to make other people bored with my blab or my music. So I'm kind of trying to be on top of kind of everything and always surprise. And I don't do it consciously. I'm not trying to be uh, like a hectic person or kind of eclectic. It just comes out like that. It comes natural to you. Yeah, it comes natural to me, I guess. It's, it's your second nature. Yeah, I think so. And it's not, I'm, it's not, it's not, it's not like superimposed. I'm not trying to shock or trying to, uh, to, uh, to impress. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to touch with what I hope it's quite beautiful music. Kobe, you have chosen London. Can you tell us why London of all, of all the places in the world? Um, I like to complain a lot and uh, there's in can London like you know supplies many reasons to um, I was about to go to Berkeley actually after I finished the army but um, my father got ill he had an heart attack and I thought I'd rather go to London because it's closer short flight I'll, I'll be near to my parents and in retrospect I'm very grateful that I went to London not to Berkeley because um, I kind of developed there in a, in a way and in a, in a pace that I really like. Kobe, uh, listening to some of your music, it's quite apparent that the accordion has become uh, quite a passion for you. And if one listens uh, carefully, you can even hear, I think, the gypsy Romanian influence. Oh, yours, right. You spotted right. Uh, I went just by coincidence 10 years ago to um, watch a gypsy Romanian band uh, called Dark Day. My wife at the time read an article with Johnny Depp and he was talking about them and she quite fancies Johnny Depp. And, uh, and she bought me a ticket and I looked at the leaflet and I said, a bunch of old musicians, not particularly like, like, you know, appealing. And, and it's not even drum kit because my first instrument is a drum kit. What am I going to do there? It's going to be boring. After two minutes, when I heard the music, I, I had tears in my eyes. I, it's like, I'm, I'm not a religious guy, quite the contrary, I'm an atheist, and, but I, I just saw God, I heard God in the music. And I was in a crossroad. I was in a crossroad in, in, in my life that I'm, I'm in my mid-30s, and. And it didn't really happen to me. I missed so many opportunities. And I thought, why not the accordion? I'm going to become an accordionist. Because the accordionist, it was funny. Because uh, he walked on stage without the accordion. And he was an ordinary looking guy. And when he played the accordion, he transferred to a, to a beautiful man. And I thought, and I'm not gay as well. It's not that I have anything against, but I'm not. And I thought, he looks really sexy. This guy looks like after the show he can... I thought after the show this guy can pull any girl that he wants. So I, so I said to my life, so I said to my wife, tomorrow I become an accordionist. I bought an accordion, and um, and soon after that, can kind of became my first instrument. 
and I never look back. I, I, uh, I mean, I love it, and this instrument helped me to develop my musicality, going back to my Romanian roots, because my mom is from Romania, Cefacea. Yeah. Uh, uh, and um, and that's it. That's the accordion story. That's why I picked up the accordion totally by coincidence, unplanned. And how long before you felt that you mastered the instrument? Oh, I, I really, I, I, I didn't. I, I'm, 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 I'm a student. I'm, I'm a student. I see myself at the very beginning of the of. of of the instrument, and I realized that all my all my all my Romanian accordion heroes are really virtuosic, like the, you know, players. They fly on the instrument, and I. But I'm making something of, on on my own. I don't look left and right and what other people do on how fast they play. I I I, I do me. I do me, and and I'm and I'm quite happy with with the way things are developing. Kobe, let's talk about your clip, Boycott Kobe Israelite. Okay, sorry, is it Kobe, let's talk about the clip, or, or Kobe Le? Because I thought that you almost told me Kobe Le. You choose, up to you. Let's talk about Boycott Israelite. Um, my brother is my manager and we develop an obsession. We want to um, be YouTube kings. And, um, and you are on the right way. I hope so. And uh, I, um, I, th I, I came up with the idea of the, of the title of the song, Boycott Israelite, and, and to have it, as we say in Hebrew, Afuch al Afuch. Let's write the lyrics. Reverse on reverse. Yeah, reverse on reverse. <laughs> Let's call the people to boycott me. And with a, with a light irony, but it's not that deep. It's very obvious what I'm trying to do. And, um, and, and, and we filmed the, like, you know, the prototype of the movie, and I was happy, but, but my brother told me, listen, it's a bad clip, let's shock, let's go to anti-Israel rallies in London, let's, let's, let's create a mayhem. And, and I was a bit scared. I mean, I didn't want to provoke, I didn't want to, you know. So we compromise on a pair of titties, <laughs> which is always nice, everybody loves it. She's a good friend of mine. And um, and kind of and kind of my brother wrote the script and he directed it and 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 it was a working process and we did it in a day. Oh no, sorry, two days. Two days. Uh, yeah, two days. One days um, of kind of getting the um, of the film the girl and the, and the other days some kind of studio overdubs me in the studio and and I'm very proud of this clip. I really love this clip. I think it's a it's a labor of love and you can see it. It's a labor of love, and if I may say so myself, I think the message is uh, quite clear. The message is quite unless, clear. Unless some people get confused. Yes, some people do, yeah. But this, this is their responsibility. It's, it's, it's kind of quite clear. I think that all the boycotting issue, it's ridiculous. Because as, as I spoke to your wife, if you really want to boycott Israel, you better live in a hut in the desert because you cannot really. It's easy to boycott avocados, hence the avocado on the. But uh, I, I, it's I, yeah, I think it's a ridiculous because if you want to boycott Israel, you have to boycott most of the countries in the world for one reason or another. So. Uh, Kobe, uh, we are very lucky that we have this new Cinematek in Tel Aviv yeah. and this uh, wonderful uh, jazz festival you are playing here tonight. Thank you. How important was it for you to come, especially all the way from London? Very important because uh, the festival um, pay my flying ticket, you know, I'm kidding, it's a, it's a joke. Very important, it's very mixed feelings. Um, we came to Israel a year and a bit ago, I, I, I came together with Oren Marshall and another musician, which, and kind of we launched our trio here, and for some reason it didn't work. And we came back to London, and me and Oren, we tried to find another player to, 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 to pick up where the other player left. But we felt that together we sound better. And, um, and we started to develop a duo simply because we got the invitation from the festival and I got panic. Oh my God, Oren, we have to, 
you have we're only two people, we only, but when you have a musician like Oren Marshall, it's fear no more. Is that like this guy is a genius and he's an incredible human being and incredible musician. And, and the gig tonight is very important because it's, it's the launching of our, of, of our duet. And it's very important. I'm very nervous, but I'm, I'm, I'm very optimistic that the show will be good. So congratulations are in order. Thank you very much. And uh, I would like to thank you very much for taking the time. I would like to thank you for giving me the time. And wish you and Oren and your very creative brother Uh, all the success and all the best in the world. Thank you very so much. Thank you very much.